Until they pay the tribute, being brought low. How exactly do you bring a Christian low by making them pay a tax? Please explain to me. Are you willing to say Islamic State is anti-Islamic? Can you say that, please? We didn't say it's anti-Islamic. We didn't just because they do Islamic. So is it Islamic or not? It isn't. Is this the Quran? No, it's not the true Quran. Why is the Islamic Dawa Society spreading this lie if this is not the Quran? Can you read Arabic? I can read it, I can't translate it. So you can read Arabic, you won't understand what it says. Yeah, I'm trying to So clearly then you can't be a Muslim. We have also found that the Quran says sun sets in a black muddy pool of water. You did not explain that. All that you said was this is not a good translation. Can you agree that? Can you agree with this? Is this a good translation or not? There are only two options. So this is a good translation. So according to this translation, the sun sets in a black muddy pool of water. You're happy with that scientific statement? As I already told you, the Quran Are you happy with this statement? If no, it's a good translation, thus the sun set in a black muddy pool of water. In Arabic, which the Quran is in, that's not what it implies. So that point is better than the Quran. Is this a good translation or not? Yes, but it's not the Quran because the Quran is in Arabic and in Arabic. The question is simple: Is this a good translation or not? If the translation is good, stick to this. Don't run and hide in Arabic. Don't run and hide. hide. The Quran is if Arabic, this is a good, hide? you're hiding with the English. Should I have to? I mean, to understand the no, no. Should I have to or not? To critically yeah, analyze, yes. To be able to make a claim on a, a reverse, I think Do you know about this? What does it say, sir? What does it say? Translated by who? Do you understand the process of translation? What is the process of translation? You don't understand the process of translation. I understand as much as that is. Process of translation. Yeah. You understand what? Of the meaning. Of Excuse me, sir. Yeah. What? Yeah. No, 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 no. Excuse me. The word translation. The word translation is a word that we use in everyday world. What does the word mean? Translation. Yes. This means another way of saying the same thing. Technically. Precisely. So, in another language, you are no, 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 no. Before you, however, in another language. You convey, convey what is conveyed in Arabic. That is the translation of the Quran. And the language used here is English. If you should either say this is a good translation or not. He says this is a good translation. And therefore, that implies what shows up here as a statement in English accurately rep rep no, represents no, no, what is there what in Arabic. No. What that is that is no, what the translate word translation means. Well, you tell me what is this? What percent is this? How so? Give me a percent. How good is this translation? Even if it was 99%, that's not enough to be There are different people that translate the Quran, so I, I can't say for sure. I haven't even I don't even know who that name is, so I can't say for sure how accurate that is. But anyhow, I want to ask you. I want to ask you about the language that Jesus spoke and the language of the Bible. Why? 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 Why, why do you want to talk about that now? Because We're talking about the Quran. Yeah, but you're explaining the differences. I am talking about the Quran. So clearly, this is not the Quran. Did you see the? What is that, sir? This is not the Quran. Do you agree with that? Yes. Do you agree with that? Yes. So clearly, this is not the Quran, according to these Muslims. When this is not the Quran, why are they giving out these in tables across across the nation in Islamic Dawah stance? If this is not the Quran, what is this? If this is not the Quran, if this is not the Quran, what is this? Excuse me, sir. Don't, 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 don't give me gibberish. If this is not the Quran, what is this? If this is not the Quran, what is this? Yes, please. I just wanted to say that that is the translation of the interpretation of the Arabic language.
translation, the, the translation of the interpretation of the Republic of Korea. What nonsense are you saying? You propagate, you never propagate Christianity. All you do, you try to criticize. I've never heard you guys ever preach about Christianity. But what? what time? How long have you been here? How many? How many times have you been here at the park? How many? How many times? How many times have you been at the park? How many times have you been at the park? The question asked is not from when. The question is how many times? Do you guys know the difference between asking the question how many times versus from when? Do you know the difference? So why did the Jews, why did some of the Jews of the Old Testament, wait a second, wait a second, why did some of the Jews of the Old Testament not believe he was the son of God and kill and crucify Yeah, but I also have a question, why did some of the Christians, that's, that's right, so, so what I'm trying to say to you is, mess, mess, do, you, do you know what a Messianic Jew is? Do you know what a Messianic Jew is? <coughs> answer, so answer what a Messianic Jew is. Why would I answer your question if you haven't answered Shall I tell you what a Messianic Jew is? <coughs> The question that you just asked is, why don't the Jews yeah, believe? No, that's not the question. Yeah, I said, do you believe that the, the, the Old Testament has been perfectly preserved? Why don't the Jews that have followed the, 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 the Old Testament and the Jewish law, why don't they take what you believe? Why they monitor the Jews? It's just the same way like some of them crucified, because some don't believe that he's the Messiah. And they've got that right and that prerogative, just like you have. You stop seeing some. All the Jews and the Jews <coughs> to take Jesus and God you can't and tell me not wrong. what to say because it is some. You can't eradicate what is truth and it's facts. So what? No, no, it's not all. That's why we have. Have you heard of Dr. Michael Brown? <coughs> Hang on a second. You just made. You just, <laughs> you just made a generalization. You said Jews. Hang on a second. So, so stop running. So stop running. Stop running and answer the question. Have you heard of Dr. Michael Brown? Okay, so let me talk to you because he's not answering the question. Have you heard of Dr. Michael Brown? What, 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 what ethnicity do you say? What is he a Jew that believes that Christ is God? Thank you. And he believes Christ is God. So so what he's trying to say is... How is he not a Jew? If he if he's a blood no, 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 no. Uh, Darren, did you see the problem here? The moment someone believes in Christ, he is going to categorize them. That is a fallacy. That's a, that's a fallacious. That's a fallacious statement. We're getting off topic. I just wanted to understand. If you're practicing Judaism, I just wanted to know that if you if you're coming to me, sorry, I'll come straight back to you. If you're saying Judaism, those who believe in Judaism, of course, rabbinic Jews are not going to believe that Christ is the Messiah. Right. Yeah, but you never explained it as Judaism. You're saying Jews per se as an ethnic group. But no, come on, let's say the same thing about No, it's your the one. You're the one who's articulate. You need to articulate yourself better. Have you ever heard about I'm not going to be talking about. The people that lived during Christ's time yeah. that, that believed in monotheism, yeah. that, that practice like Muslim yeah. practice. Yeah. So isn't that kind of the same logic that you're following with Jews? Who, who, Christ sorry, sorry, who? The Ebionites. Ebionites lived during the time of Jesus Christ. Or after Jesus Christ, sorry, after Jesus Christ. Well, how after Why Jesus Christ? Uh, uh, what evidence exists for Ebionites? What evidence? Historic evidence. What evidence? evidence? What evidence? I don't have any evidence. There is no, no evidence. There's no evidence. There's no so evidence. Why do people believe in Ebionites? Well, Muslims believe in them. And believe it. I've heard many Christian preachers here accept Ebionites existing. You're just saying they are right, don't exist. There is a book they called Book of the Ab Gospel of Ebionites, which come well after the time of Jesus Christ from the Arabic heartland. And like the rest of you, this was how after, how after Jesus? I, I don't know. From the, um, well, I don't know the precise dates, but uh, does not come from the first century and does not come from the nation of Israel. As in regards to the people group called Ebionites, apart from this book, there exists no archaeological evidence for their existence. None at all. None whatsoever. And so this is, but Muslims, Muslims cling on to them. Muslims cling on to them because that makes their case convenient. That's the only reason. Apart from that, there is no evidence. What's your name? Zakaria. Zakaria, where are you from? Pakistan. From Pakistan. That's good. Are you Shia Muslim, Sunni Muslim? I'm Sunni. I'm Sunni. I'm Muslim. So, Zechariah, I'm a Protestant, okay. <coughs> yes. coming to you, Islam is a total lie. Okay. 
Islam is a total lie. Right, cool. Islam says that Islamic Allah sent out 124,000 prophets across the world throughout time. 124,000. Yeah. Can you name a few of these outside of the Bible? Outside of the Bible? Or the, or the Bible? Outside of the Bible. It doesn't mean that it no, no, no. Question is simple. Question is simple. If there were 124,000 prophets, so let's 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 see with this. 124,000 people, prophets. I'm assuming you would appreciate that they would have had signs and wonders. No, 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 no. What? What? 124,000. 124,000 people with signs and wonders and so on sure, yeah. throughout time sure, yeah. and you are saying yeah. there exists no evidence of any of them outside of the Bible? The Does that? Just the Bible. The, the Quran. The Quran. Well, the Quran doesn't give any prophet. So leave behind the Quran. It gives names of prophets. Of course it gives names of prophets. The Quran Musa, does not... No, no, Musa, the Musa is not a name. Musa is not a name. Moses... The delatinized name, Musa. <laughs> Musa is that a Hebrew name? I don't know. Musa. Moses is a Hebrew prophet. Yeah. His works are here. No problem. In the Bible. And the, Quran? the Quran is, as we are talking about so far, yeah. is a is a book which doesn't give you meaningful statements. Okay. Bring them Quran bring all the statements of the Quran, you don't learn much. And so the point simply is let's leave behind the Quran. Let's leave behind the Quran. We are talking about the Bible. Outside of the Bible, do you have any evidence? For 124,000 prophets. No, what does that mean? What does that say? It that means Islam no. is a whole bucket full of lies. Uh, why? Why then? In the Bible, yeah. do you know that? do you know how many prophets are there in the Bible about? How many? Approximately. You know, I don't know. You approximately. Yeah. I don't know. I'm asking you. Approximately about 50 prophets. Okay, 50 right. great men of God. Yes, approximately. And what do we know from these 50 people? What is the evidence for the 50 people? How many people follow them? Yeah. You can see today about a billion plus people follow them. Right. If that is the case for about 50 people, how about for 124,000? Can you even believe this? Can you uh, uh, grapple with this please? For 50 people, if the impact that they have had is such a monumental impact, just for about 50 people, how much could you expect from about 124,000? Yeah. You know how much could you expect? You Excuse me, yeah. how much could you expect? You know what we about the Impact from 124,000 people, yeah. prophets. So the, the names that you're quoting in the Bible. How much can you expect? You? Yes. The names in the Bible that you're talking about, why do you believe that they're accurate? Why do you believe that those have existed? What I'm asking is, why do you trust the Bible, basically? That's my question. How does that have anything to do with the 124,000 question I'm asking? Because you're saying that there's, there's names in the Bible that talk about prophets, and you're saying that those names are, don't exist in the Quran, and so therefore the Quran is a lie. What I'm trying That's to say, not the point I'm making. You've, more, that you've that got my point wrong. Many, Inconsistencies within it. For example, the give me your name again, please. Zechariah. Zechariah. Genealogies in Mark and Luke. For example, Zechariah. Different. For example, they're different. So therefore, if there's different lineage going from Abraham to uh, Jesus, if the lineage is 14 in Luke, for example, and multiple more in, in uh, I think it's Matthew, then how do you reconcile the differences in names? The fact Zechariah. That they're, they're do you understand the word deviation? Yeah. Detraction. Right. Yeah. Understand those words? So, I'm asking you. Yeah, I'm asking you to defend. I'm asking you to defend Islam. Yeah. You're now. You're now talking about the Bible. About Islam. The question. Hey, brother. Zechariah. Look, listen. I just want to have a discussion. Don't talk like really loud. Well, there are many other people here. So. I'd like to speak to many other people. Don't worry. Okay. Yeah. So, Zechariah. The question is simple. If but I asked you a question first, sir. Wow, 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 wow. Who asked the question first? Me. Was it him or me? Who asked the question first? I asked, you asked me and I answered. And then I gave no, no, you didn't answer me anything. I'm asking you <laughs> if 50 like, people, around 50 people, yeah. could have caused the impact that they caused, how much could you expect from about 124,000 similar prophets? Yeah, yeah. I don't understand this 
How many? The Islam says, Islam says, you said, I know you're preaching, but you're not discussing. You said, you, you had, listen, or do you want to talk? I want clarifications. I want you to understand, Zakaria. I'm, 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 I want you to understand that Islam spreads a whole load of lies. I believe that. I want you to understand that. I believe that you believe that. I'm not asking you for my. I'm not asking you to empathize with me. I'm asking you to listen to my points. The evidence that I'm providing. The evidence that I'm providing. I'd like you to listen to. I'm saying the evidence you're providing is from a Bible that's been corrupted. That's what I'm trying to say. The evidence I'm providing is from Islam, not from the Bible. Islam says no. Listen to me, please. You clearly have misunderstood. Islam says, Islam says, not the Bible. Islam says, Islamic Allah sent 124,000 prophets across the world. Islam says that. Do you know of any of these? And that makes it wrong? Why does that make it wrong? Clearly. No, why? Why does that make it wrong and a lie? Why does all the prophecies, all the scientific miracles, all of the mathematical impossibilities... Which mathematical impossibility? What are you talking about? For example, in the Quran, I can't point it out, like in a verse, but in the Quran, if you look, there's words such as, I've written it down, but there's words that come, for example, day, the word day, Yom comes 365 times in the whole Quran. The and what does that make it? The word month comes 12 times. The word that's specific like repentance. What does that mean? All of these words become, when you compile the whole Quran at one, in one, it shows that even a man that was illiterate, didn't understand numbers, letters, anything, he made a whole Quran which came over 23 years and there happened to be words that came exactly the same times mathematically. That didn't have to do with the same verse. Like day, day, day happened to be 365 times in the whole Quran. That's just one example of the mathematical. Please, please, please read verses 83 to 86, please. Right, well, if, I, if I'm going to do that, then you've got to read Please your read, please read. Then you've got to read your own Bible. Oh, oh, please read. If you're going to shoot... No, I, I like... I, please read. Do I know Arabic? Do I know Arabic? Do you know Arabic? Go, this is English, don't worry. Go, go this is yeah, English. This is an English translation, please don't worry. Please read this. Would you like to read this? No, I, I do not want to. Zekar, I don't speak Arabic, so I'm not well versed enough to explain the verse. If I'm not, don't know Arabic, I can't explain I thought it, you were explaining to me about 365 and 12 and everything yeah, else. Mathematical. I can do that because I don't need to know Arabic to do that. I do need to know Do Arabic you need to know to Arabic to, to read an English text? I do need to know Arabic to be able to transliterate what exactly I'm not asking you to translate, transliterate. I'm asking you to read no, you some are. English statements. You are because then you're going to... English. English. I'm not because... Zechariah, English. The original way it was revealed. English. What was the Bible revealed? Are you an English speaker, sir? Can you read English? Please, can you read this for us? Are you a Muslim? Don't say to me. He's a liar. Don't take it from me. Don't listen to them. They can't think for themselves. Please read this. I'm not going to let you speak. So don't take it from me. Thank you. You don't want to read? Are you a Muslim, sir? This is your Quran, sir. What's that? Turn to me. Well, that's the Quran. He's not going to let you speak. If you translate the Quran from Arabic into English, what do you get? Uh, yeah, translation. But what is the content? Where is the content from? Is this from Harry Potter? Is this is this from the Lord of the Rings? What's that? What's that? It's a human translation. Do you know of any translations which is not human? So clearly we are happy with human translations. So can I please ask you, sir? What's that? Have I ever read the original text in Arabic? Why should I care? Even the English does not make much sense. Why should I care to read in Arabic? Excuse me, sir. Please answer my simple question. Would you be bold enough to read? Would you be bold enough to read the English translation of the Quran? Would you be bold enough? Or are you ashamed, sir? Are you ashamed of your Quran, sir? Are you not ashamed of your Quran? Then can you please read this for us? We need your help. We really need your help. That's what we're trying to do here. Which, which Muslim here can read English? Anyone who can read English? What? Okay, please. Okay. See, you can help us, yeah? Hey, please, please answer this. Please read. I don't know Arabic. So well, how can I give you an accurate He doesn't know Arabic, and that's precisely why we have got him an English translation. To read an English translation, what language do you need to know, Darren? German. German. German, maybe? You can read. If you know English, you can read this. I don't think you understand what I'm trying to say to you. I don't understand. That's precisely true. You keep saying the same thing. Just read, bro. I don't know. Can anyone read English? Are you happy to read this English translation of the Quran? No, we 
Why is it that Muslims are so ashamed to read their own Quran? Why is this the case? Why is this the case? Are you an Arabic speaker? No, a native Arabic speaker. And can you read Arabic? I can read it, I can't translate it. So you can read Arabic, you won't understand what it says. Yeah, I'm trying to so learn. clearly then you can't be a Muslim. Mm. Not true. Wait, wait a second. I'm if you can't what read... Muslim is, submission to God. Doesn't can you read Arabic? No Arabic can be a Muslim. Did you see, did you hear what, what just... So you can read Arabic, you won't understand what it says. Yeah, I'm trying to so clearly you can't be a Muslim. Muslim, Muslim is someone who doesn't read, read this again, and try and evaluate. That's yeah, not but, who a Muslim is. Explain to me rationally how does Islamic Allah exist. That is implicit. That is... Before Islam there was no revelation. You said that. Implicitly when saying, when you say that, you are that denying you to be Muslim, the identity you don't have to of the Jews, which is what Islam has taught you okay, to do. So, as are you willing to say, ask you Islamic again. State is anti-Islamic? Let me ask Can you, you say that, please? Well, that of course, that course you need to believe in the Bible for you to be a Christian. If so, you don't really believe in the Bible, how can you be a Christian? Question to you again, please. Explain to me rationally, how do you? How does Islamic Allah exist? Please explain to me rationally. Well, if you think about it, everything in the world is made up of things that could exist or could not exist, i.e. contingent things, right? So right now, you're a contingent being, I'm a contingent being, because I came from something else. I was caused by something else. And that uh, that chain, that regression, can't go on for infinity. So therefore, there has to be a... Do you want to analyze it or do you want to hear my... I'm, I'm listening, I'm listening. I'm explaining as to why God needs to exist. No, 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 no. The no. question asked was, oh, why do you think Islamic Allah yeah, exists? What, what, no, 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 no. Islamic Allah before is not Quran, any one God. No, is the God of the Quran. But before the Quran came, people were still Muslims if they believed in God. They were still judged accountably. They were still judged Can accountably. you believe what is happening here? People before Would you believe that? Yes. People that believed yeah. in God before the Quran were still believed in God. It doesn't mean... It doesn't mean Do anything. you know what makes someone a Muslim today? Let's say, let's put it this way. Let's put it this way. Islamic State yeah. went, uh, went to Mosul. In Mosul, there were Christians. Christians believed in how many gods? Three. One. Oh, that's your fantasy idea. Are you a Christian, brother? Are you a Christian, brother? How many gods do you believe in? One. Are you a Christian, brother? How many gods do you believe in? Am I a, excuse me, sir. You may have your counting issues. Learning mathematics might be a bit problematic for you, but deal with them when you deal with your primary school education. A Christian is telling you, another Christian is telling you, and I, as another Christian, I'm telling you, Christians believe in one God. Let me come back to you. Zechariah, let me come back to you. Went to Mosul, the Islamic militants who went there did not say, oh, you believe in one God, and therefore you are a Muslim, we leave you alone. Is that what they did? Excuse me. I don't know. You don't know where Mosul is? You don't know where Mosul is? You don't know where Mosul is? Iraq, Islamic State? So what does that have to do with me saying that you have to believe in You said anyone who believes in one God is a Muslim. That's what you said. By that definition, ah, now you come to submit to Allah. Islamic... Allah is one God. Zechariah, let, let's do this again. Please don't confuse me. It's a simple experiment. Let's go through this one step at a time. Hey, I'll make the claim let's, let's you're talking about the claim I make. So let me who make again, so is a Muslim? Yeah, let him make I just wanted to make a point. Do you believe in one God? Who is a Muslim? Okay, then he's a Muslim. Do you believe in one God? I am a Christian. A I am not a Muslim. People that came before Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, who believed in one God, who came to it rationally, if you believe in the fitrah, which is what an innate disposition towards God is, people that came before Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, believed in that innate fitrah, believed in a God, believed in a creator, Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala will judge them on their judgment just, just, justly, and because they believe in a God, it means that they're going to go to heaven because they're Muslim. Because, they because revelation didn't exist then, you can't judge them on a revelation they never heard, right? Just for example, if there's a tribe, like there's a tri I say the tribe right now, can't remember the name, off the coast of Sri Lanka, if they've never heard of the revelation of Islam, and yet they believe in a God, God will... Did you hear how anti-Semitic this guy is? No, no, how is Before, before, before Islam, there was no revelation. Claims this guy. Before Islam, there is no revelation. Would you go and say that to a Jew, sir? Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Would you go and say that to a Jew? I'm going to ask you a question. I'm Did you say that or not? Before, before Islam, was there a revelation or not? Before the Quran? 
Yes. Before the Quran, there was the, of course, the Injil, the Torah. Yes. I'm saying before anything, before the Torah, before the Bible. Before anything, before if, what? Before anything. Any revelation. Before the Torah, before the Bible, before the Quran. If you believed in a God before that, then you be then God will judge you goodly, goodly, justly, sorry, because you believed in a God, and you can do that rationally. You don't need a book to believe in a God. You so need, come back. You let's come back. You need let's a come book back to believe in the certain attributes of God, like let's, okay, benevolence. Let's and that let's come back to this again. Exactly. Answer, to please. Answer. Answer me, answer me, please. Answer me, please. I, say, I, I, I heard you. I heard, I heard what you said. I heard, I heard. I, I'm not here to repeat. I'm not a parrot. I, I heard what you said. I'm now going to move on to the next question. I'm now going to move on. I'm now. The question to you. Do you know what anti-Semitic means? The question is. What does anti-Semitic mean? Well, ignoring the identity of the Jews in any way, shape, or form. You inadvertently said. No, because Islam you teaches you that you inadvertently look, look, said yeah, yeah, that before Islam there was no revelation. You said that, sir. Look, look, you said that. Now coming back, look, look, coming back. Look, look, just, just wait. I just wanna. Do you wanna hug me? Do you wanna just discuss? Do you wanna just be civil? Don't shout. I just wanna have a clear discussion. I'm speaking you're to speaking, many people. Excuse me, no, Zachariah. Did I so far yeah, say to you? Listen to me, please. All right, sure, listen. So far, did I dictate as to how you should speak? Did I do that? How I speak? No. Speak civil, man. What did I do? I excuse me, wait, wait, excuse me, wait, wait. I asked you questions yes. and allowed you to answer yeah, in the way you want to answer. Yeah. Did I not? Yeah, That's that, excuse me. Did I not? Yeah, did I not? I did. I what did you do? What did you do? I said so far, three or four times you were telling me how I should speak. Is that a sensible I, thing to I do? Telling you to speak civilly. He's trying to divert. He's trying to divert. I know he is. I know he is. What does what does civilly have to do with my sound? What does civilly have to do with no, your song? Just the sound, but the fact that you don't let me speak and you're just talking over me. I say something and you call me anti-Semitic and then when I try to, when I try to justify myself, can I, can I, speak can me, I, like you're doing now, like you're doing now. Can I let you know why I said you were anti-Semitic? Yes. Because you made a statement saying before Islam there was no revelation. You said that. Yes. When do when you say that you are denying the identity of the Jews, which is what Islam has taught you to do. That the Torah and the Bible existed before the Quran. You put words in my mouth and you insinuate. It's all on record. Don't worry. Yeah, I know. So if don't you worry. made a mistake, so that's worry. fine. If you made a mistake, if you want to correct, that's fine. That's fine. Let's move on. The question simply. I'll happily move on if you just accept that. The question. No anti-Semitic means as well. The question simply. What does anti-Semitic mean? Anti-Semitism includes denying the identity of the Jews in any way, shape, or form. Also, denying their history in any way, shape, or form. Also, that is part of anti-Semitism. So when you deny the fact that Jews got the Torah before you, do you understand? Do you understand? Clearly, you don't know what identity means. Clearly, you don't know what identity means. That's fine. We can move on. Yeah, let's move on. Coming back to you. Islamic State militants wanted to wipe out people from Mosul. The question is, the question is, what does this have to do with the Quran? Is the Islamic State anything to do with the Quran? No, no, no. Are you willing to say Islamic State is anti-Islamic? Can you say that, please? We didn't say it's anti-Islamic. We didn't just get that to So is it Islamic or not? So it doesn't make it anti-Islamic. Is Islamic State Islamic or not? ISIS. No. So Islamic State is not Islamic. Because he's speaking, there are many people here. What? The ISIS. Yeah, they don't. What is that? Sorry, I can't hear you. The ISIS. Yeah. Are they Muslims or not? Are they Islamic or not? So clearly, according to the confession of this gentleman here, Islamic State is not Islamic. Well done. Thank you. That's like saying because there's Muslim grooming gangs, they're following the Quran. It doesn't mean that because they're doing something and they're Muslim, that means they're following the Quran unequivocally. Well, whether they. Excuse me. Excuse me. Politicians are flawed. Politicians are flawed. Doesn't mean that they're following the Quran unequivocally. People can misinterpret the Quran. It even says that in the Quran. So the fact that you're saying that. Okay, let's try and see if Islamic State people were misinterpreting the Quran when they went after the Christians in Mosul to kill them, to wipe them out. 
or force them to convert to Islam, were they being Islamic or not? Let's see. You know what it says in the Quran? It says there is no compulsion in religion. You know what, it's, you know what that means? Let's try. You can't force anybody to be a Muslim. Let's see if that's, that's what the Quran says. It says that. I'm telling you. It says that in the Quran. I'm going to read to you now. From what verse, sir? Yeah, what translation? Surah at tawbah Surah chapter 9. Verse 29. Fight against such of those. Please read. Fight against such of those who have been given the scripture as believe not in Allah. Those who believe not in Allah, nor the last day. And forbid not that which Allah has forbidden by his messenger. And follow not the religion of truth until they pay the tribute readily being brought low now no 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 let's let's go through this let's go through this excuse me sir please learn to listen if you can't move on quran is asking commanding muslims instructing commanding muslims to fight yeah. On what basis? Yes. On what basis? It says that in the Bible. Sorry. Yeah. On what basis? Says, preach, fight, preach, fight against. Excuse me, please. Darren, Darren, this is Darren. One second. Darren, Darren, one second. Darren, one second. One second. Darren, one second. One second. Darren, one second. Fight against. Darren, Darren, Darren. Darren, 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 please, Darren. Please, please, Darren, Darren. So fight against those who believe. Darren, Darren, please. Fight, Darren, 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 please. Fight against those. Darren, Darren. Fight against those who believe not in Allah. Do I be, do you believe in Allah, brother? Yeah, no, 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 I'm reading. I'm reading. I'm reading. I read the entire verse once. Now I'm going through it step by step. Why are you afraid? Do you believe in Allah, brother? You don't even know who Allah is. And so clearly you would not believe in Islamic Allah. But clearly he is a Christian. And therefore, and therefore he would come under the category of who Muslims have been instructed to fight against. Hmm. Let me go through. Oh, one second, one which second. Category? Which category? Yeah. Well, which category? The category of people who ought to be fought against. Yeah, what is yeah. that? Fight what, what against what? those What's who what? have been given the scripture as believe not in Allah, nor the last day. Do you believe in uh, Islamic end time exposition, brother? You don't believe in that? They're coming after you to fight if anyone wants to follow you, follow Islam. And forbid not that which Allah has forbidden by his messenger. Who does messenger mean here? So, whatever Muhammad says, you ought to follow, apparently. And if you don't, your Muslims have been instructed to fight against you. And follow not Fall the reasons I've given you so far. No, no, you if you don't follow Muhammad, if you don't follow Islam, they will come after you. No, no, that's what is the reason? And follow not the religion. Do you know what jizya is? You don't know. What is jizya? Are you willing to pay the jizya, sir? Let me ask you. Are you willing to pay a slave tax? A second class slave tax. Can you listen to this man? Yeah, let's read. And follow not the religion of truth until they pay tribute readily being brought low. You will be subdued. Yes. It, ah, look. Yes. Yeah, but They're just uh, waiting for that to happen. Condition. Yes. Condition. Carry condition. Carry condition. Yes. Well, the conditions have been read so far. What, Haven't you been paying you, attention? You, you, you either should become a Muslim, follow Messenger yes, yes. Muhammad, follow Islam, yes. 
follow his religion or you should be willing to be submissive before Muslims. If you don't do either of them, Muslims have been instructed to fight against you. Do you think that's a good idea, brother? You're in an echo chamber. Listen to the answer. Listen to me. You know, right. under the caliphate Abu Bakr, Abu Bakr Siddiq, there are, Please come here. there are many Muslims who refuse to pay zakat. Do you know what's the punishment? There's a punishment for people who don't pay zakat. Right? Similarly, there are those Jews and Christians, in this verse, it's not talking about what's fighting them on the, the account of religion, religion, it's on the account that they're not paying the jizya. All right! right? They were treated yeah. so, so, so well. Muslims. They're so well. Did you, did you, did you hear, did you hear the answer the gentleman gave? Did you hear the answer the gentleman gave? The gentleman said, this is against some other time. Do you believe in the Quran to be the eternal word of Islamic Allah, sir? Do you believe in that? Do you need to follow the Quran today? Do you need to follow the Quran today? Do you need to follow the Quran today? If you read this instruction, would you obey Islamic Allah or okay, not? Me, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Do not run away. You tell me which would you obey the Islamic Allah or not? You tell me which country is caliphate. Excuse me, sir. Would you obey the Islamic Allah or not? Listen to the answer. Well, if your answer is this is only in Islamic Caliphate, let me better tell you, of course, we would never let you do that here. Clearly. We are not fools to let you do that here, clearly. But the question is, would you dare to do this anywhere? That's the question. Brother, are you ready to listen? if you live in Saudi Arabia, they'll come after you. Are you happy about this? They live and practice here. Are you Muslim, sir? You tell me. You are in London right now. Good. He is a Muslim. Come here, please. Where do you live, sir? No, why do you want to know? Where do you live? Where? No, not a particular town. Which country do you live in? Talk about what you want to talk about. No way. Which country do you live in? I live in Alaska. So he lives in Alaska. Which country do you live in? Well, let me talk to someone who, is, who lives in the UK. Any Muslim who lives in the UK? You live in the UK? No, North Pole. You live in the North Pole. Well, it has everything to do with what I'm talking about here, sir. You are living in a country here. Have you been forced to pay Jizya here? In the UK? Yeah. How much tax do you pay? Oh, ho, ho. GCR. All right. GCR is just the tax that the Muslims pay. Do the Muslims pay GCR? No. Clearly. Oh, wow, wow. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Don't run from one tree to another. Don't do that. The question. The question. Well, many historians have I asked the question. Wow, 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 wow. Zechariah, please make sense. One question at a time. I asked the gentleman, do you pay no, I don't pay Jizya. Jizya? No, I pay Zakat, not Jizya. Clearly, he does not. I pay Zakat, not Jizya. What does he not Listen to me carefully. Do you pay, do you pay any tax as a Muslim, which is more than a tax that a Christian would pay? So, the Christian and a Muslim would pay the same tax in a nation like ours, won't we? Christians and Muslims pay the same tax here, don't we? Don't we? Yes, in the UK, please, yes. Okay, you don't have anything and therefore you don't pay, that's fine. But the question I asked was simple. Are you ill-treated by the fact that you are a Muslim in a nation like ours? That's the question asked. Hours. 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 Are you ill-treated? Because you are a Muslim, are you a second-class citizen in the UK? But in an Islamic state, you would be, wouldn't you? If a Christian... Wait a second. Brother, they are confessing here. The confession is simple. In the UK, we do not... Uh, we do not give partial treatment to a Muslim. We don't undermine them. Just because, wait a second, wait a second. Just by the fact that they are Muslims, no one ill treats them. They pay the same tax. He can change into a Christian tomorrow and would end up paying the same amount of tax as long as 
uh, income remains the same. So his religion does not determine his tax level. But in Islam, what do you find? In an Islamic country, Islamic caliphate, like what he said, if you are a Christian, you are to be paying more. How much? How much do you pay? How much jizya do you pay, sir? What jizya percentage, sir? If you don't know, don't say more or less. Keep your mouth shut, sir. Excuse me, sir. If you don't know, if you don't know, if you let me educate you, let's read the statement. Ask me what's the percentage. I don't know. Let's let's read here. What's the percentage? Let's read here. What's the percentage? Let's read here. One second. Let's read here. And follow not the religion of truth. But you don't analyze. Let me try and help you analyze. And follow not. So is this a waste of time? In English? In English, is this a waste of time? I am happy for anyone to read the English Bible. Are you happy for me to read the English Quran? Is this the Quran? Yeah. No, it isn't. Is this the Quran? The Quran. Why is the Islamic Dawa society spreading this lie if this is not the Quran? Is this a Quran? Is the, this is an interpretation of the power of two to the power of five of the Quran. My dear friends, you want to understand if there are double treatment or not? Read here, please. Follow not the religion of truth until they pay. Until. Until. Please. One at a time. Please listen. One minute. One minute. Surah 9, Ayah 29. Until. Until they pay that tribute readily being brought low being brought are you listening no because i've heard it already bro he's gonna get the arabic he knows arabic he'll explain it being brought low how can he be brought low through a tax being brought low it says being brought low by being made to pay this pay this jizya sir being brought low i know i know i know i know you are an elitist islam elitist than the christians and jews that's a fact Please come here. Please come here. Until they pay the tribute, being brought low. How exactly do you bring a Christian low by making them pay a tax? Please explain to me. How do you make them bring? How do you bring them low? How do you bring them low? The question is simple. How do you bring someone low by making them pay a tax? How do you bring them low? Any answer? How do you bring them low? Excuse me, here everyone pays similar tax structure. Don't worry about this. Have you got any special tax structure, sir? I think you'd be happy if you had a lower tax to pay. Like at least the, 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 the tax is one How do you bring someone low by forcing them to pay a tax? How do you force them? How do you bring them low? Any answer whatsoever? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> oh yeah, in an Islamic state they'll call the police because they respect the police. So go after, go on brother, did you want to say something? The question is why the Christian has to pay more than the Muslim. And why, why do you have to pay more? Where did you get that from? Why did you get that from? He is running. Can you see this? Please, please look at him.